everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i wanted to do a makeup video for you guys um because you know fall and winter is basically almost here i've returned from mallorca where it was warm and it was sunny and now i'm back in hamburg and it's back to reality because it's really getting cold here um it's gray it's rainy but it's also nice because I can wear all the new stuff for fall. I love fall fashion and obviously I want to do a little bit of more of an intense makeup look for these um, types of clothes. And I thought it would be nice to combine a fall makeup with some new products I received from amazing brands like Benefit and Kaya and uh, some Hourglass. Hourglass hourglass products and um, yeah so let's dive into it and let's get started I have some new products as I said from hourglass but I will start with the one product that is a absolute hero for me and that's the Charlotte Tilbury flawless um, filter and this one is in color four and a half I've started to use uh, a little bit of more of a light color for this one because I would prefer not to be so tan in my face. I still think this is the best product to start um, building up uh, the skin before you apply foundation. It's easy, it gives a beautiful glow and there are so many colors that you can find a great match for your skin. And sometimes, honestly, this is all I would wear on my skin. Nice and quick. So that's the base for the skin. Now I move on with foundation and um, I've started to use a stick foundation lately this one is from hourglass i think this is an amazing brand and i really wanted to try this one out and actually i bought this because i had some little uh, bruises uh, from a uh, uvdam treatment and i needed a little bit more coverage and i heard about this hourglass foundation and i really wanted to try it so i bought it and if you use it very lightly it's also very natural so um, i'm still using it and i have it in color um, warm beige but actually what i will do is get another one in the cooler version of this because in the winter obviously i have a different skin tone and i want a little bit more coolness so um, you have to just use just a little bit. So I just dab it on the skin like so. And then I blend it out with a makeup brush. This one is really easy to use, this foundation. very lightly and it evens out the skin tone very nicely obviously i just came back from mallorca so i have some pigmentation on the skin um, which i expect to fade away in the next couple of weeks then obviously some concealer i've started to use this one from hourglass as well this is in the color beige my no, beach beach which is i guess their word for beige. <laughs> Just some dots where I need it. That's that. And then um, powder. I started to use a powder from Hourglass and that looks like this. This is just a loose powder. Um, it's uh, called Veil. 
it's I think one color fits all because it's transparent and obviously I also use the Charlotte Tilbury press powder but I like this powder to just first of all set everything my routine changed a little bit um, obviously I still love the MAC foundation and the MAC concealer but sometimes I like to switch it up a little bit and also use some new products and as I said I went shopping at Douglas um, before I flew out to Mallorca and sometimes it's just nice you know to just buy new products and just see what is nice and what you can do so then I just went home for the full bag of new stuff if you hear the wind that's Hamburg at the moment <laughs> okay skin is set I will return to powder with the Charlotte Tilbury but for now this can just nicely set into the skin um, and now I'm going to do brows um, for that I haven't changed my routine although I have some new products by Benefit that I will try out here um, but first of all I'm going to shape the brows with this MAC product that I absolutely love. I always have it here in stock because I'm so afraid I run out of it. So this is the shape and shade and I use the color uh, Spiked and with that I'm gonna do the brows. Okay, that's the little hair strokes I do with this pencil by MAC. And then I have something new. This is from Benefit. It is a, um, it's called Gimme Brow Plus, and it's a, a wow volumizing um, gel. I don't know, I haven't tried it, so let's see if I end up with crazy brows and sorry <laughs> little disclaimer oh, okay nothing crazy it's like a eyebrow gel with some yeah like little fiber in it I guess and with that you give the illusion of um, fuller brows which works yes <laughs> And then they sent me also, and I had this product before, but I, I really love it. So that's why I'm telling you guys about it. This is the 24 hour brow setter. And I love this because it really holds the brows in perfect place. This is like a glue, which I like. And the funny part is sometimes, you know, the baby hairs here, sometimes I do like this and then it stays. So it's actually also a good hair product. Ta da! Okay. Brows are done, skin is done. Let's continue with uh, eyes. I didn't really have like a new palette for winter or something, so I thought it would be nice to get a. Charlotte Tilbury one out of the box with all the eyeshadows here and this one uh, is called Desert Haze and um, I really like these colors so I'm going to use this one starting with the light color on the lid nice and matte you know, I like a shimmer, but I also sometimes like some matte eyeshadow. And then I'm going to do this color in the crease. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to dip in this, yeah, what's uh, like a hmm, like a warm brown tone. I'm going to put it a little bit here, not too much, just. It's actually just a deeper tone of the one that I put in the crease. And then that same color, I'm gonna put a little bit under the eyes. For me, it's all about something that goes quick. Because actually, um, for my job, I have to be in hair and makeup so much that if I do it myself, I just want it to be quick and simple. I just want to look good, know that it will be perfect, but I don't want to spend a long time doing eye makeup and stuff, so. Okay, then I'm gonna go in into this like cool, dark brown tone. And then I'm just gonna quickly a little bit under the eyes again as I said this is more like for winter fall um, so I'm just gonna put on a little bit more of these brown chocolate kind of colors I think it's nice with my eye color but I I feel that it, it's really flattering to a lot of people or for a lot of people That same dark brown, I'm also going to put in here. So I just, I just like pulled it out a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a liner because I want to keep it a little bit smoked out and a little bit soft, but still intense because I put this dark brown color in it. And I'm just gonna put on a mascara because I think I, I, I can see if it needs more after that. Because sometimes you think you need to add more and then actually you have, you have done your, your lashes and then you think, oh no, no, it's too much. Curl the eyelashes, obviously I always do this, and then I'm going to use this mascara, it's the Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara, and I see now that I have not done it. I like this, this eye is a little bit darker than this one, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the dark brown. Okay, now it's in. And I guess it's good that I didn't add more because now when I put on the mascara, I can see that is enough. Mascaras on. Now I am going to add some uh, highlighter and some bronzer. I have received a very nice one by Kaya. I love this brand. It's really, really good. Um, I'm going to put some bronzer on. And again, I normally skip this part, but let's try. Yeah, it's nice. It's very subtle. I mean, it's not an orangey uh, look. It's it's actually very cool, a cool brown. I 
Okay, that's that. And then I'm gonna use this highlighter. Um, it's called Portofino. It's also by Kaya. And let's see if I'm gonna do it with my fingers or yeah, I'm gonna do it with my fingers. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I can control the product more and I know how much it means. Wow, look at that. That's a nice highlighter. I love it. I always put something here just to, you know, I don't know why because with the lip liner is gone anyways, but then I do it here, I'm filtering, and then a little bit on the nose. And on the bridge of the nose, just a little bit. And then why not? A little bit under the eyebrows. A little bit on the chin. Just to keep that bronzy glow. Just came back from vacation, not. <laughs> but still want that look. I'm gonna go back in now. Now I'm all bronzy and glowy and you know, I'm, I just want to return uh, with some powder here because otherwise it will be too glowy and glowy is nice but greasy is not. So I'm just going to quickly touch up all the areas that I think are too shiny. That's that, and then I'm going to do lips, or no, I'm going to do blush first. So I am using, this is, a, this is a set that's almost destroyed, this is by Laura Mercier, and I really, really like this color, and it suits also the, the uh, Kaya products that I used, and it's, it's a nice, very subtle, um, glowy color and what is this actually oh, the magic hour face illuminator palette and that color that I love um, is called addiction oh. how suity okay um, I'm gonna end with lips and for that I'm also testing some new Kaya products First, their lip liner in the color Bianca. So this is the lipstick I wanna try out today. This is the Kaya. Um, it's called something with 90s. <laughs> Link it down below. Um, yeah, so let's try. Mm, it smells good. I love it. It's very 90s and very moisturizing. And you can build it up, as you can see, but it's not thick. I mean, it's very buildable, but it's not thick. I love that because I mean, it's too thick. It's not nice. Mm, I like it. Okay, because why not? I have it. That's the reason I'm going to put on some, well, I just want to put it all on my lips. I'm um, just going to do it. Maybe it doesn't look good, but who cares? This is a lip gloss by Kaya as well. Um, something newy. Let's see. I like the applicator. And the color. Yeah, I like it. And then they also sent me a lip oil. I'm piling everything on right now. Maybe this is not necessary, but who cares? This is a lip oil. Okay, this is unnecessary, but you know, I did it anyway, and it's it's okay. Alrighty. Well, I think it's pretty nice. This is my autumn, fall, whatever you want to call it, makeup. Uh, still bronzy, still glowing, but I think this is a really nice makeup to wear with all the new 
upcoming fall fashion trends, um, but it's still natural. It's still uh, healthy, glowing looking skin. And as I said, bronzy. So this will for sure be my favorite makeup look for during the day, especially when I'm shooting stuff and also for the night, for a nice date night look or dinner or drinks with the girls. I think this is perfect. Okay, guys. Well, um, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Um, always a pleasure to do videos for you guys. Let me know what you want to see next and please like, subscribe and leave a comment and hit that notification bell. And yeah, let's see each other next time. Mwah.